What's up? We're here. It's Thursday night, and I'm not ready. So we're gonna hang out for a few minutes. I'm tired. As I always am. How are we all doing tonight? I don't even have chat like pulled up. I, you, you could all be talking to me and I just don't know. No, I'm, I'm kidding. It's it, it would only be Stacy and it's going to be the dinosaurs. Am I right? Yeah, I'm fucking right. Yeah. As I presumed. Ah. Ba -bum -bum -ba -bum. Gotta get shit ready. Cause I work today. Bum -bum. Ugh, it's probably gonna look bad. Ah! So how are we all doing tonight? How's everyone's Thursday treating you? What's up, Glenn? I wish. See, there's another weird card battle game. Uh, no, I didn't. I will check that out. I'm very curious, though, now.
There you go. I had to do what I did and there we go. Uh no, let's check it out. Let's check it out together. Epic. Games launch. We're gonna check this out. Um Circus Electric. Interesting. We're gonna look at stuff while I eat some uh some fajita meat. Oh god, this reminds me of that Great American Circus game that we played. It almost looks like Darkest Dungeon meets that. Like the gameplay of Darkest Dungeon, but the aesthetic of the Great American Circus. The spicy food well i'm eating that while i wash it down with this creamy coconut dr pepper as gross as that may sound but this is this is thanks to glenn so thanks pal coconut dr pepper mmm Oh. <laughs> we we agree i i think i think glenn and i agreed but i definitely personally feel like it tastes um uh like it tastes like a mounds bar uh so that was that was my opinion on it is that it tastes like a mounds bar So not too bad, not too, too bad, but, uh, you know, it's all right. Um, but what is up with my chat? I know what's wrong with chat. Where's the chat group in here? Is that better? Is that worse? I don't know. I feel like not enough people talk for it to need to be bet more than that. I realized what I did. It's fine. That's totally fine. All right. Oh, that's that. Okay. All right. I think it's about time to get into this, don't you? I do. We used to have Hollywood video and Tamware grew up. The pop tasted tastes like that. Oh yeah, I can get that. My mom actually said it. It smelled like uh, or it tastes like sunscreen. So I can see that it's coconut. So to me, it tastes like a mountains bar. Um. All right, but without any further ado, why don't we get into this shit tonight? Um. Yeah, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the first 15, Gesture to Crowd. Um, if you've never been to this stream before, thank you so much for coming by. If you're watching it uh, after the fact on VOD or on YouTube, thank you so much for coming around and watching it after the fact. I appreciate that. If you are new and you're wondering what this show is, it's pretty simple. Basically, every week I sit down and I play three games, sometimes more, but games that I have never played before. And I play them for just 15 minutes. Uh, after that, I give them a rating on. Uh, oh, I don't have my phone set up. 
Uh, I give them a rating on this wonderful tier list that you see next to me. That's right, a lovely scientifically designed tier list uh, with four core categories. That's right, no more, no less. It's not like we didn't start with three and add one and then I constantly say that, uh, you know, Maybe I'll add another category eventually, but no, four categories, that's right. Uh, <coughs> ratings as high as 15 hours, please. 15 more minutes, 15 minutes was enough, and 15 minutes too long. Last week, as a recap, <coughs> we played, uh, we played some children's games. We played Nickelodeon games. Uh, specifically, we played Paw Patrol World, Bik uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, and the Bluey video game with Paw Patrol World and SpongeBob getting 15 minutes was enough and Bluey getting 15 more minutes. So some, uh, some decent games. Tonight, uh, as you may have seen beforehand, we will be playing the Pathless Storyteller and Viewfinder. Um, <clears throat> Storyteller and Viewfinder are games that I have been actually very excited to play. Um, that may or may not sway my you know, my appeal to it or my rating, but uh, I do not come on to this stream to ever say that my opinions are unbiased. Um, as if you have watched this for any amount of time, you will know that by and large, uh, collect-a-thon kind of games will normally get around a 15 more minutes, 15 minutes was enough, but like action adventure roguelikes are generally always gonna be high up there. So never saying that this is unbiased, but these are just my opinions. So I'm looking forward to these ones. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get jumping into this. Oh, actually, before we get into this, um, just as a reminder, every week here on uh, Incal's Corner, we have a giveaway for a game at the end of the stream. Um, so if you are interested in winning a free game, all you have to do is go to kelscorner.com, join the giveaway from there. It'll take you to the Discord. You can join the giveaway. This week, we are giving away a copy of Meeple Station. Uh, it's like a, uh, you're, you're like controlling a space station in, uh, yes, I was about to say space station in space, uh, but you are controlling a space station full of meeples uh, where you can have all kinds of craziness happen to them. So who all knows? Um, also, later on this evening, uh, we are going to be uh, looking at the new uh, games for Humble Choice because those have been announced. And as often, you might see some of those games in a future episode, or they might be a game that is up for grabs uh, as a free one. Um, I've already looked through uh, one or two of them and I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty up on, uh, you know, what's going on right now over on Humble Choice. So if you want to, uh, if you want to look in with that with me later on, Definitely, but like I said, sometimes all you have to do is enter the giveaway and you might just win one of those games anyway. So, you know, maybe you don't have to spend the $12 for it, but maybe you do, but we'll see. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff going on. I just saw that, Sarid. I literally just saw that too. And uh, I know how I am about Metroidvania games, but you know what? Sometimes they do just tickle me the right way. So we'll have to take a look. Uh, there's some, I'm seeing some fun stuff in, in, uh, in Humble right now. So we'll, uh, we'll definitely be checking that out later on. So, but for right now, uh, we are going to be checking out this game, The Pathless. So we will go ahead and start that up. Oh, and this is also, this is also put out by, uh, I don't believe all of them this week. Um, no, I take that back. I think all of them this week are, uh, or no, sorry. 
Okay, so the first two games this week, The Pathless and Storyteller, um, are published by Annapurna Interactive. They do phenomenal games. We've actually played a couple of theirs. Uh, one more notable one was uh, Donut County, um, but they... Uh, they were the ones who also did Cocoon, which we just played, which was the first game this season that got a 15 hours, please. Um, they also did Stray as well, which was a, a game that got a lot of praise. Uh, on top of that, Solar Ash was uh, another one of their games that we played um, that got 15 more minutes. So uh, Annapurna doing work out there in the video game community. Um so yeah, let's uh, let's see what the pathless has for us. Ooh. A dark curse shrouds the world. Legends say the curse spreads from the ancient isles. All right, no, we're starting the timer. I'm gonna eat some fajita mix. While the uh, while the the cutscene goes, because it's unskippable. <laughs> Basically, you're the last hunter going to uh, reclaim the light in the world. It's a super linear, <laughs> super linear on rails game. I already want to say, love the character art design and the colors, especially red and black, obviously. Look and move. Can I go that way? I don't know. Holy shit! All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta lower these graphics. Oh, do I not get graphical settings? Hold on. Hold, hold the fuck on. It's, it's, it's acting up on my side. Oh yeah, sorry, hold on. No, I gotta fix this on my side. It's acting up on my side. I had this fixed earlier. I had these all down. Which ones, wait, which ones could go medium? That's right, none of them. Sorry about that. I didn't want to take that away. Because... Okay, sorry. Yeah, it was acting very strange on my side. It's still acting strange. Alright, we're going to lower that again. So this is why I normally try and do these... Uh, oh, you know what? This might be the reason. All right, hold on. Yeah, the first 15. It's like the first 15 minutes, it's just me playing with settings. So I, I, funny enough, I've, I also messed with other things recently. I changed my, my bit rate. There we go. That's, that's much better. All right. We're going to start the timer there, but yeah, what the fuck? Dude, look at that fucking jump. Oh, sh okay. Ooh, I can run now. Oh, 
Doom. Fuck yeah! Eat your heart out, Jordan. Mm. Is that a phoenix? Every game that has a red bird is normally like a phoenix or it's a thunderbird. Do you want me to shoot it? Sauron isn't happy. Okay. So I don't mean to climb on you or nothing. Welcome, Aaron. So can I shoot, like... Is is do I have to like Is there a possibility that I can Oh man So I do have to I didn't know if like it, it looks like you can almost shoot the bottom of it So what am I supposed to be doing? I guess just Oh it's back do I have to wait for them to respawn? Or is it just to keep my speed up? Is that literally their sole purpose? Oh. Hello. Giant Squid Games. Uh, Ultra Valley Sun is here. How are you enjoying the game? Uh, honestly, I'm liking it so far. I like the character design. Uh... I love the colors already. Ooh. Spirit Master grants the ability to see the cracks in the world, uh, but he cautioned those who wear the mask, never see the world the same. That is sick. Oh, okay, so the mask comes off whenever I run. All right, that was just sick. Now I'm up here, now what? Battle between Eagle Mother and the God Slayer was the worst thing my eyes have witnessed. She's fallen. Oh yeah. Right. So, okay. So I guess we go to that one. Oh, I get it now. It's it's called pathless because there's there's no paths. <laughs> Need another one. What? All right. Oh, Glenn, I now have two cans of Dr. Pepper coconut in my room, thanks to you. It tastes like sunblock. Oh, there you go. It tastes like sunblock. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking sick. I feel like I feel like I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm enjoying doing it. Then again, that's how I live my life. It's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I'm here. I'm here for it. Contentment, pilgrimage, found answers on this. What is this? Can 
Can I get in there? Why are we eating sunblock? We're not eating sunblock. But Dr. Pepper coconut tastes like sunblock. Oh shit, I see what I have to do here. Oh shit, that's so cool. Why do I feel like I've played something like this before? I don't know why, but I feel like I played a demo of this like a long time ago. It there is something about this that feels familiar and I I can't explain it. Ooh, what's down there? Wow. Oh, no, no, let's let's not go for a swim. All right. Okay, so I got to go to that one now. We'll uh when we get up this mountain here. What's up there? Can I go up this? Did some... What did I just hear? Let's see. Can I climb this? Oh, yeah, sweet. We consume the dead. I wear one for the time. Hmm. Oh, there's the there's the bird. What's the? Oh my God! There's one all the way up there. What? I need to go that way. Fuck. I don't have another thing, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb that. this can't do anything with that at least right now okay 
Okay. So I can't climb that at the moment. What is that over there? Oh, I gotta stand on this. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm enjoying the puzzles. Like, Having to find the keys to unlock them. I just, I feel like I'm not playing it right. Like, I watched like a small snippet uh, from like a clip, and it's like the character was like moving so fast and fluidly. But may, I mean, I, this is the first 15. You know, maybe we're just not at that point. I mean, we did just open Heaven's Gate and revive a phoenix. Come on. Where am I going? That way? Where's the bird now? There. No? Yes, there that is the bird. Okay. Oh look at this. So they're one of those things. Snap. I just love how beautiful, like, like just that like small area this game this game is just beautiful to look at do you have an egg are you a mommy bird or a daddy bird or are you the one that can do everything through a singular cloaca what the fuck is he speaking Klingon? Or is this an actual language and I'm just a horrible racist? Or is that Hatties? Fuck. I want to be that guy. Dude, he looks fucking sick. Yeah, this looks like something out of Legend from Zelda. Honestly, I want that sword and I want that character model. Dude, don't don't kill the great bird. Uh, oh yeah, because it's uh what it's it's Annapurna is the uh it's the same uh, publisher as Journey, so 
So, I mean, if it's the same art directors from Journey, then yeah, it's an absolutely, it's gonna be a beautiful game. God. Imagine being known as the God Slayer. I'm fuck. We gotta see it to the end of the... We gotta see it to the end of the fucking... You know, cutscene. Also, Aaron's not here to yell at me as far as I know. All right, is this a save point? Oh, oh my God, it's a little baby bird. Squirrel. Oh my God. Oh, giant squid games. If you're still here, good on you. I will always want to press X to pet bird. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, let's clean you up. Oh, oh my God. But isn't there, there's a Twitter account that's like, can you pet the dog? And it like tracks all the games where there's a dog in it that you can pet. Uh, this one needs to be in there for like, yes, you can pet your bird. Oh my God. All right. Unfortunately, we do have to stick to the rules. It is time's up. We're going to do a manual save. All right. Man, that, that was fun. Um, okay, so that was the first 15 of the Pathless. And... Oh, I gotta say, I, 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 like, the only, the only imagery that I had walking into this was, like, seeing the clip on the Steam page, um, like, right as it starts, and your character's, like, running through, and you have the bird, like, flying around you, and I was like, I don't know what this is, but it looks sick. The art style is phenomenal. I, I mean... I I like games that have like that almost minimalist look to it. Like there's not harsh, heavy lines on stuff. Um, so that in itself, the, I mean, we talked about at the beginning, the water looked phenomenal. Um, it is, it's the same art director as, as Journey. Uh, I'm seeing a clip now. You can actually like fly. The bird can like carry you. Oh, this is, oh, wait a second. This is from the creators of Abzu. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I have not played Abzu, um, but I know of it. It's a diving game um, where you're like interacting with like sea life and stuff. Um, that, okay, that makes a lot more sense now that now that i know that it's it's made by the same people um yeah so i mean as for the puzzles gr granted we were in just the opening area but honestly i i enjoyed the fact that it wasn't just like you know go to these places and just like activate the tower you actually had to like get the things first which made you learn the general mechanics i mean that's always what you want within that first 15 time frame is learning how the game works 
understanding, you know, that there's going to be puzzles, that things aren't just going to be directly straightforward, and then getting you hooked on the story. And honestly, I am invested because he killed the big bird. And now we got to go get vengeance and we got to kill the other the other monstrosities. So I am all about this. Shameless plug for our game in development, Sea of Sword of the Sea. Is that on Steam? Is that Sword of the Sea? It is. All right. Uh, you know what? Here. Let us. Let's check out the trailer uh, while we got while we got the devs in here. We'll check out this trailer real quick for uh, for Sword of the Sea. Because I'm very curious myself. Why does this music make me think of, uh... Oh, that's very Journey-like. <laughs> Please tell me that you're riding on the sword. Oh! Are you riding... <laughs> Are you riding on the sword? Or is that the sheath? If you're riding the scabbard, that's even better. Because then you can pull a sword out and ride with it. Oh my fucking god. This looks sick. Did you just take like every aspect of, of your last three games? And you're like, all right, so we're going to make it a fast paced. Uh, we're we're going to make it fast paced like the pathless. We're going to put it in a desert where you're where you're like going through uh, like waves of sand. And then we're also going to put sea creatures around because if that's the case, you you hit the mark. Um, man, that looks good. And we're gonna keep the composer from all three. That is awesome. Uh, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm adding that to my wish list right now. So um, yeah, whenever whenever that comes out, I would love to play that. I will have to I will have to wait patiently. Austin Wintory. All right, well, good on them. Yeah, that is awesome. Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, like, I wasn't, I, I didn't know what to expect with the Pathless. Um, you know, that's, it, it's always one of those things. You just, you never know, you never know what a game is going to get you. But honestly, I I am, I, I'm in no way, shape or form, like, uh, confused on where this goes. This is getting 15 hours, please. I I want to play this. Uh, I want to play more of this immediately, because this is the this is the thing that, like I, this is where I mean whenever I say, like first 15. Okay, I've had people tell me before who've watched the stream, who've been in the Discord, where they say like you know it's 15 minutes enough. I've had people say like you should give a game more than that. And you know what? I don't know sometimes because if a game doesn't really get me into it within the first 15 minutes, I, I lose interest. You know, I, I probably have ADHD or something like that. And, uh, cause I have a very short attention span at times, but like if a game like that can, can make you want to keep going and teach you the mechanics get you invested in the story and keep you in with just the beautiful atmosphere that is an accomplishment that is exactly what the first 15 is about and that's what drives you to want that 15 hours so yeah pathless 15 hours please that's that's a well-earned score right there so kudos to you all right uh well after that journey 
<laughs> wrong game all right uh <laughs> after that uh why don't we jump over to uh another game that i've been waiting for uh for a little while storyteller uh i'm very much looking forward to this i've seen i've seen some videos about this one i've tried to avoid them but uh i'm i'm pretty excited to see this one so yo go ahead and you're jumping into Storyteller. Also, just as a reminder, if you are watching and you have not, and you, you want a chance to win a copy of Meeple Station, you still have about an hour. So you can head over to the Discord, join the giveaway over there for a chance to win a copy of Meeple Station. All right. At the end of this is this the game? Am I already in the game? All right, we're going to turn off the music and we're going to start the timer. Only to the finest storytellers of the realm. <laughs> All right, thanks again, Giant Squid Games. I really appreciate you coming by and talking about it. Also, thanks for letting us know about Sword of the Sea. Cannot wait to see that. So thank you so much. I appreciate you coming by. Read this book and prove yourself worthy of the title <clears throat> like adam starts alone finds love and dies happy adam starts alone find loves and dies happy so he finds eve and then is that it oh i gotta put adam on there damn eve thick Hold on, wait a second. Can he find himself? No. Does that match? Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. But can I screw this up? Can I put him on there? No, okay. Did you play a game sort of like this last season? I played a game, I think you might be thinking of Pentiment, which was uh, a game that I abhorred. Um, Eve dies heartbroken. Okay. Ah, that's it. You might be thinking of Pentiment because it was like, it was like broken into story blocks, I think. No, you're right. It does feel familiar. Seeing the ghost of another. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. We got to start with, do we got to start with death? Oh, we, we got to start with love first because I don't know who they are. Death. And then... Oh, we got revive now. So Adam dies. And then they see each other in the afterlife. Oh, wait, hold on. We got to do this and then. That's how it's done. The ceremony. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Like oh, here we go. Hearts. A heartbreak <laughs> is healed. A heartbreak is healed. Oh, so we got three people. Um we got three scenes. A heartbreak is healed. All right, so uh, Edgar and 
Lenora get married. And then uh, Edgar dies. And then Lenora marries Bernard. And Isabel is just a lonely wench. Without any deaths? Oh, interesting. Okay, so we we did this. So so we just can't have any. Okay. Nope. <laughs> what if we put these two? So without any deaths, so we have to have three weddings. Um. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No? All right, so wait, hold on. Edgar marries Lenora. Uh, and then Edgar... So, oh! So Bernard, ah, there we go. Okay. So Edgar marries Lenora. And then Edgar is in love with, Len is married to Lenora, but Bernard is heartbroken over those two, so he marries Isabel. That's how to do it without deaths. Rejected my own spouse. Okay, so we have wedding and amnesia. All right, so obviously we got Edgar and Lenora. Um, and then we're gonna have amnesia with Edgar. And uh rejected by own spouse okay so that no oh wait hold on hold on There it is. Okay. So Edgar marries Lenora. He gets amnesia, marries Isabel, and then they see each other and he's like, but I love Isabel now. Everyone rejects oh. Edgar. Everyone rejects Edgar? Okay. Okay. So it's going to have to be... It's going to have to be like... Bernard and Lenora are get married. Or wait. Um yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to have to be that and then uh no, put you back there. And then we'll say Lenora dies. No, Lenora still has to reject him. So Yeah, okay. Cool. And then another wedding with Bernard. And oh yeah, okay, no, we, we have this, we have this. And then it's gonna be a wedding and a wedding. Okay, cool. Uh, so uh, we'll say, we'll say uh, Lenora gets to live this time. Bernard gets to die. Um, and then Lenora and Isabel get married. Uh, and then Edgar asks out Isabel. There we go. Poor Edgar. I just also want to say, I know I'm catching myself saying it. I know his name is Edgar. I had a pet. I had a, I had a stuffed dog when I was a kid uh, that was a pug and his name was Edgar. And it was like it, it's spelled the same way, but it, it's I always pronounce it E-G-G-A-R. So I apologize Survivors if you're hearing that. Fine. Surviving spouses find comfort. Okay, that's easy enough. Uh, we're gonna have a wedding and then a death and a wedding and a death and a wedding. So, Edgar and Lenora, Bernard and Isabel, congrats. 
and we'll say that in this one, uh, Lenore dies and Bernard dies and Edgar and Isabel. There we go. Edgar shocks himself. Okay, oh God, okay. So Edgar is looking into a mirror. He has amnesia and dies. <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. Are we starting with amnesia? Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay. There we go. So Edgar dies, he forgets that he's dead and he sees himself in the mirror. Okay, that's funny. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. Oh, okay, cool. So we're gonna have a wedding and we're gonna have two deaths. We're gonna have two revives and we're gonna have a wedding. No, we're gonna reverse that. Lenore is going to be the first one to die. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Oh, wait, in the afterlife. Okay. So we can do this without these pieces then. Uh, or no. No, so we need... No. Or wait, this would need to be a revive and Edgar comes back. And then sees that she's dead and then Edgar dies again. Yeah, so they get married in life. Edgar eventually dies, but he's revived only to find out that Lenora died, and then he eventually dies and they're reunited in the afterlife. Good for you, Edgar. Heartbreak for everyone. Oh no. All right. So Edgar and Lenora, as always. Uh, and then Lenora dies. Oh, so sorry. Edgar and Bernard get married. Congrats. And then Bernard dies. Ugh. Oh, wait, actually, no. Uh, Edgar dies. And then... Uh, um... And then Lenora's revived, only to find out that Edgar is dead. Oh, so she had. heartbroken dog dies happy. What the fuck? Good. Oh no! I don't want an old heartbroken dog. Oh, this is just time. Okay, all right. So. Oh God, I can't deal with that. No, no, hold on, uh, revive. There it is. There it is. Oh my God. Edgar and his dog, they grew old together and Edgar dies and the dog is so upset and he's brought back and the dog's so happy that he dies. <laughs> the fuck? That one made me upset. Lenora drinks poison. Oh. 
Lenora drinks poison? Huh? What? Wait, what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the poison's supposed to be. Why would she drink poison? Wedding. D oh, 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 I see. I see. Ah, okay. All right. That makes more sense now. Double poison. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So, so it's wedding death, poison, revive, uh, death, poison. Bam. Oh, shit. Someone drinks poison twice. <laughs> ah. Oh, wait, hold on. Revive. Revive Edgar. <laughs> Man, in this scenario, he went through tragedy twice. He fucking marries his love. She dies. He's like, I'm going to down myself. He revives and he's like, Oh, wait, no, I remember why I did this and goes out again. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man, I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I see that it is time. That sucks. Um. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize. Uh, fuck, that was awesome. I was really enjoying that. Um. Yeah, so that was the storyteller. Um, like uh, the Pathless, that is also put out. That was published by Anna Purna Interactive. Uh, it <laughs> haunt Edgar's revenge. Uh, it's 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 described as an award-winning puzzle game about building stories, starting with a title, settings, and characters, and create a story that fits the story's description. Play with stories of love, intrigue, crime, monsters, betrayal, and more. I was enjoying that. That was really, really cool. I'm very curious to see what more there is to it. Because uh, even looking at some of the pictures, like some of this can get really elaborate. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was... I, I like the storybook... Uh, I like the storybook design to it. I mean, obviously it's storyteller, um, but it's it's cool where you can just like move things around, shift stuff. And I also like the fact that there's multiple ways to end those uh, those stories. So that was also really cool. Yeah, uh, I'm. You know what? This is this is one of those this is one of those ones where it's like. Uh, um, I would, I would put it at like, you know, I'm going to play this for a few more hours. Um, let me see. Let me see how long to beat storyteller two hours and 15 minutes. Um, you know what, you know, the role for the role for 15 hours, please. Is if I could play the game for 15 hours, would I, and you know what? I was having a lot of fun with that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. So, so here's here's something. Here, here's a point that I want to make, and I've kind of like started to like more solidify this this point. While some games don't have fifteen hours, we've talked about that. <laughs> <coughs> This is going to be one of those this is going to be one of those moments where 
would I play this game to its completion? Yes. Therefore, 15 hours, please. If it's a game that can be beaten two hours and I just kind of want to see a little bit more of it, 15 more minutes. But if this is a game that has a two hour main story, I will play this to completion. So yeah, this is, this is going to get 15 hours, please. Uh, I think that's a little bit more of like a solid standard that I can uphold. Um, like, like I wasted my time playing this game and I want my 15 minutes back. I played this game for 15 minutes and I will never play it again, but thank you for the experience. I played this game for 15 minutes and it was enjoyable and I would play it again, but I have no intention of seeing it through to completion. I have played this game for 15 minutes and not only do I want to play it more, but I will consider playing this to completion or I will at least give this a few hours. So yeah, those are, that's a little bit more of like a standard that I can hold myself to, but yes, Storyteller is gonna get 15 hours, please. That was a, that was a great game. Um, all right. So with that, we're gonna move on to our third and final game of the night, Viewfinder. Now, not gonna lie, 15 hour stream of just messing with Edgar. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Um, now I do wanna say, I, I have been wanting to play this game for a long time. So again, I might be a little biased with this one. Uh, if the game, oh wait, hold on. There we go. Start a new game. Take a shot. He dies or has a bad, yeah. <laughs> right. We're in. Like every story, every story has to end with Egger failing. Bobo, can you move? You're on my cable. Come here. Hi, thank you. That's a good dog. You're a good bug. All right, cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and start the timer. Let me turn that up. Can't hear anything. Oh, what is over here? Um, you can build anything, yet you start to build a lab. There's no time like the present. You're coding pillows to watch the footage. Popcorn next. Interesting. Wait, what can I click? Can I interact with something over here? Swear to God, I could interact with something. What is this place? Oh shit! Whoa, you okay? Uh, your vitals look good. I guess we know now that falling doesn't hurt. That's Oof. some good news, at least. Old B to rewind. Oh shit! Okay. There must be a way to get back up there. Oh, you what? That's sick. <laughs> okay, can't jump. Oh, there's another walkway. Okay. What's an old photograph doing here? Hold aim and press right trigger. Okay. Can you do something with it? Oh yeah. See, this is this is the thing. This is the whole thing about this game. There's the photo and now it's a thing. <laughs> Hang on. Did you just shift reality? A teleporter. Glad you made it in one piece. That was fucking sick. Wait, where, where's this going? Oh, shit. Okay, so that, that makes it work. Does this need to go on there, too? It's almost working. Oh, yeah, it Looks needs three batteries. Like need one more. Not all. You know I cannot stand these types of activities. 
Piraya, my love, please, hold still. What do I even do with my hands? Just relax them and try to smile. A portrait in a Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just realized where I was stepping into. This is the same place. This, that, oh, my God. Wait, hold on a second. This photo is right here. It's like that. No. Yeah, fuck. It's like, oh, that's so weird. All right, we're putting it somewhere else because I don't want to lose access to that area. Put it right here. Man, that's fucking crazy. Well done. Definitely feels different than what we've seen so far. Oh. It looks like someone really settled here. Okay, that's weird. It's, it's really nice. I wish I could be in there with you. Hmm. It must be a security measure. A structured path we have to follow. Well, let's find the next working one. I swear to God, you get uh, you get a camera at some point and you can like take your own photos and stuff. Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, look at that. Follow the gray brick road. Holy shit. Oh, there's a, oh, ha. All right, we gotta we gotta move it just a little bit further up. Holy shit! Sir. Oh wait, is there a photo here? Maybe there's a surface you can use to climb up there. A surface? Oh, here we go. Eesh. There we go. Need some batteries. This, 
I, I, I'll tell you what, the whole like, the whole like stepping into another reality thing is just fascinating. Does that say? Treasure in the making. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, everything's gone. Where's the other battery? I feel like, oh, you know what? Hold on here. Yep, 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 yep. It's It's gotta be in here. Oh, there it is. What the f... That is so cool. It's alive. <laughs> Man. Wait, is that the same picture? The teleporter was destroyed. Oh. Oh, that's unusual. So the photo is acting a bit weird. Can you hear me? Uh oh. Is this some like Stanley Parable shit? Welcome back. A little too soon for my liking, but happy to have you. Seems like the simulation had some difficulty maintaining itself. We might need to reroute our power sources to keep it running. Bummer, but that's what we get for messing with old tech. Don't worry, love. We'll get it sorted, and then it's off to the races with you. What? Who knew it'd be this tricky to get ancient tech back in working order? Just look at all this junk. Line. Dude, d that is the fucking same symbol from Super Liminal. These people were trailblazers. Which we makes total sense. This game reminds me of Super Liminal. more accurate to call it a lightning rod. Well, either way, one thing's clear. The weather disruptor really might be the game changer we need. What the fuck? Nice work. Looks like we're back online. On Ready this when camera. You are. All right. Put me in my Darth Vader pod. Ah, just as stunning as I remember it. Let's get our bearings and find where we left off. Well, I went through here.
Is it is this gonna happen again? Photos are back to normal too. Excellent. Should be smooth sailing from here. Hopefully. There we go. I was curious what would happen if it would take me through there. It honestly, yeah, it, yeah, like Highlander 2. It reminded me of, uh, uh, what's that one game? Um, do they like, do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Whatever that one is, the, the Decker movie. Okay, so wait, do I. Whoa. Blade Runner. Yeah, I, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. This is so. Oh, <laughs> it's marvelous. I'm done there. See, I told you. The colors. How long did this take you? No, that would be telling. Fuck yeah. I should retain some mystery. I love the sound. I love the the cartoony sounds of my feet. Now it sounds like paper. Oh now oh yeah now we're going into a fucking dungeon. All right, we're going we're going to put this over here. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, this is so cool. Your mind is limitless. This was fun. Few things make me happier than when you say that here. Oh, wait. Oh my God, that was so cool. Oh, fuck, time's up. Holy shit. I don't think I need to elaborate a lot on that. That was sick, okay? Very much reminded me of Super Liminal. Once I saw that sign, I don't, it's not, is it made by the same? I gotta look this up. No, they're made by, yeah, they're made by completely different studios. Superliminal is made by Pillow Castle and Viewfinder is made by Sad Owl Studios. Well, Thunderful Games is the, is the publisher. Um, hold on, who published Superliminal? Pillow Castle, so they're, they self-published. It, they use the same, they use like the same image for uh, for the exit sign, I think. That, when I saw that, it made me think of Superliminal because there's like so many times that you see that symbol in the game. Um, But like the whole, the whole like reality shifting, non-Euclidean geometry, uh, design of it that was phenomenal um i i loved that and i really liked how you know 
you're 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 more in control but i i also know that coming up in it you get a camera that allows you to make your own images so i want to keep playing that because i'm very curious to see what more there is to it um so yeah this is this is no question at all and this is kind of crazy because you know i want to say that this doesn't happen a lot but it literally just did two episodes ago episode 86 and episode 88 we have we have two aces all right what do they call that in hockey a hat trick all right 86 and 88 and we have six games this season with perfect scores two episodes with perfect scores i'll tell you what i mean picking some great games i don't know like i i i definitely have been waiting for these and again i i say like i said before i'm i'm not unbiased in the games that i want to play there's a lot of games that i have wanted to play for a while and and i just never did like firewatch and gree or you know grease and fee and stuff but there's also games that i've never even heard of that uh you know i want to give a chance stuff like children of silent town and oaken and stuff but like it's just oh yeah turkey yeah if you get uh if you get three strikes it's a turkey um but it's like there's just something about these these particular games and and i find it funny here's 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 the difference between them okay episode 86 was unknowingly gonna be a great episode okay i walked into that having two games or we walked into that having two games that were card building or that were card based deck builder games and a narrative one at that and then a who knows what the hell the forgotten city was and each one of them getting 15 hours please at least this episode had the you know the pretext of i've you know oh yeah i've been sitting on uh you know these two and this looked really cool in a in a clip but i gotta say you know what winners are winners and uh and those those did something for me so yeah phenomenal games phenomenal games this week i i can't even express it uh so yeah uh just just as a as a, you know a quick recap um we played the pathless storyteller and viewfinder with each one of them getting 15 hours please i mean it's very rarely heard of that we we get stuff like that but man does it feel good when we do um but moving on from those three games we got to see what games we're playing next week uh episode 89 will be coming up and uh we have some curiously interesting games um let me double check this because i believe two of them are or is it is it all three yes all three are from not only the same uh the same developer but the same publisher because they're all self-published and that is that we are going to be playing furious farm total reapout super fetch dog and stray shot uh i picked these games up as part of a bundle uh and cannot wait to try these um or no i'm sorry i don't even think i did these as a as, no that's right i just bought these games straight out these weren't part of a bundle i've just been wanting to play furious farm total Reapout. um but yeah these are these are all developed and published by punk cake delicio i don't know how to i don't it's uh it's like french i guess for delicious uh but if the art in these seems any f any bit familiar you may have seen one of their other games that i played on stream um and 
I actually believe that the develop one of one of the members of the development team may have come to the stream. I don't remember exactly, but it was a game that got 15 hours, please. And that was episode 60 Shotgun King Final Checkmate. I swear to God, one of the developers came by for that. Um, but I have been wanting to play more of their games for a while. And I finally just decided to break down and buy some of their games. Um, so we will be giving these a shot next episode. Uh, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, man, it is, it is going to be something else next episode. Uh, oof. but, uh, but yeah, so I think with that, uh, we should probably announce the winner of, uh, of Meeple Station. I, I think so. Yeah, I think, I think there was somebody who was, who was involved with it that came around. All right. And. Hold on one second. Why is it not? There we go. All right. And the winner of Meeple Station is Castantino, also known as Glenn. Congratulations, Glenn. You are the fanciful winner of Meeple Station. Enjoy your meeples my friend uh but <laughs> you make those poor meeples suffer i better see some i better see some meeples uh on your stream so <laughs> all right uh so yeah why don't we uh why don't we real quick um take a look at some of the games that we have over in um uh over on humble not humble giveaway wait why oh there we go um yeah so we got this what we got this month over here in humble choice we have yakuza like a dragon oh. Weakness, he's done. Hit it. Hit it. You do it. Let's start a brand new age of heroes. Well, this just got you always attract the weirdos. <laughs> Time to call a friend. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is there a crayfish? You sure know how to make an entrance. Here comes the Oh, didn't mean to click that. All right. Well, I think I know what game we're giving away this week. Because <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the Yakuza series, but I feel like some folks out there are. Uh, Hi-Fi Rush. Honestly, uh, you can still just go and play this over on, uh, over on Xbox Game Pass. I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, yeah, Hi-Fi Rush is still available on Game Pass. So if you do want to play that and you have Game Pass, there you go. Steel Rising? Why do I remember this? Run. It is bullshit what happened to that studio. That sucks. You simply watch as Paris burns from the First and foremost, There is a time limit to redeem. You have the entire ages. month. Ages? The king must be stopped. The fuck
What is this, like Devil May Cry, but like King Louie? Interesting. Lotto Knot. Why does this look adorable and I'm gonna play it? Fuck yeah, I'm playing that. I don't wanna see any more. Peggy 12. Yes. What could go wrong when telling me he's Ice Warriors? I'm their king. Oh my god, play with Twitch chat. Fuck. Oh, it's a party game. Okay. All right, we'll see. We'll see. I've eyed this one up since I saw that it was. Oh, it's Team 17. I'm 100% taking this one. This is mine. I'm playing this. I'm going to have to move this up because I just want to play it now. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm pausing that. I have to. Amanda and the Adventurer? Is it. Question. You don't have to answer that. You can get hurt. Nope, nope. We're playing that on 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 uh, first fifteen. Mediterranean Inferno. What the fuck. Is this a game or like a new Vogue music video? All right. We also have some other games that are, uh, oh my God, $10 off IGN Live? No thanks. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, you get 66% off of Saturnalia. That game scared the shit out of me. Scared the shit out of me. All right, uh, yeah, we also have some, uh, some cool Metroidvania games that you can get for just $14. Nine Years of Shadows, Axiom Verge, one and two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, one and two. Uh, Cookie Cutter, Ghost Song, which we played here on stream uh, once before. Death's Gambit Afterlife and The Night Witch. Why does that look familiar? Okay, it's not. Uh, we still have the Down on the Farm bundle. Uh, which is still going on for the next 20 hours. So you have a little less than a day to nab this. Uh, I guarantee you most of these are just knockoff Stardew Valleys. I'm sorry to say that. If, if it's your dream to make these games, I love you. Good for you. Make them. You have an audience. I'm not that audience. Um, Fungin Crawlers. Avalon, formerly Summoner's Fate. Hey, Myth Force! <laughs> yeah! All right, I'm going to put this out there already. This is a $15 bundle that gets you Myth Force. Here's what I'm going to say. That's going to be a giveaway. I'm getting this because I want to give away a copy of Myth Force so other people can play that uh, because I would love to play that with someone else. So, or if you want it, head over to Humble and go to the Fungin Crawlers bundle. Get $15. Look at all these games. You know? Uh, so we got, we got Team 17. I looked at this already. I'm a huge Team 17 fan. Uh, I love their games, and I have played, like, half of these already. Um, I, like, I've played Neon Abyss, Worms, The Escapist, Headbangers, me and my friends play golf with friends, uh, you know, on a fairly regular basis. Um, so I've already played most of those. We got create, automate, and manage. Yeah, this is also not my style of game, but, you know, somebody's. All right. So, yeah. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to be getting some games tonight. But we're going to be giving away a copy of Yakuza Like a Dragon. Obviously, I don't have the code yet. 
but I will have it by next week. So, oh, I'm in the wrong chat. I was like, wait, why isn't he giving me my prompt? So if you wish to win a copy of Yakuza Like a Dragon, all you have to do is head on over to the Discord right now and join the giveaway. And you can win a copy of Yakuza Like a Dragon. So there you go. And then look forward to seeing some of these games in, in, in upcoming episodes. Um, you know, it's funny. I... I I kind of say this, I kind of say this a lot more often um, than, than I mean to. But when, when I first started doing, when I first started doing the first 15, I remember like looking at my, uh, I remember looking at my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my games library and not having a ton of games to play. And I sort of had this thought of like, oh, okay, well, here's a couple games, you know, that, that I might want to play, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I remember thinking like, oh, well, I'll just play Xbox games. Like, you know, obviously, you know, I, I haven't touched any of those. And and I remember sitting there like putting together, you know, eight episodes worth of uh, worth of games, like like eight or nine episodes worth of games from Xbox. And I was like, OK, cool. Like, you know, maybe this will be a thing. And and then as I was getting closer to like episode 10, I was like, it was like like episode nine or 10. I was like, I was like, shit, like I need to get like more games and there has been moments during this where i've like thought to myself do i have enough games to keep this going like how long can i sustain this show you know the show that is predicated on playing three games every week and games that i've never played and in fact I actually have to change one of my episodes because just the other day, um, my buddy Smith messaged me and was like, hey, uh, have you ever played Orcs Must Die? And I said, no, I haven't. Why? And he's like, well, it's on Game Pass. And I said, oh, yeah, I have it. I have it in an episode. It's it's episode 94. Um, and he's like, oh, OK, yeah, no, never mind that. We're playing it now. I was like, okay, I have no problem with this. Um, because the thing is, is like, it's, it's, there's constantly this, this huge stream of games coming out. And that is, that is a good thing. And it's also, it, it's like kind of a good thing and a bad thing. You know, there's, there's never been a time, you know, where like every second we live, there's, you know, we are living in the moment where we have like the most video games available to us, but it's just constantly, you know, constantly getting more and more added. And it's like, and I, I very rarely look beyond Xbox Game Pass and Steam, like, like Humble Bundle and stuff like that. Uh, it's rare that I look at Epic. It's rare that I look, you know, anywhere else. Um, and it's just hilarious that like, like I look, you know, every month when Humble Choice comes around, it's like there's a potential two episodes there. Or like if there's a bundle that comes out where it's like, oh, yeah, for $14, I can get, you know, nine games like, yeah, absolutely. You know, let's do it. Um, but I, I, I the reason why I mentioned this is because at the end of the day, None of this means anything without you guys watching it. Okay, that's that's the main thing. Like, like I could be I, I could just be sitting here, you know, once a week, picking up three games, playing them and, you know, just moving on with my life. But I have so much fun 
sitting down, like come, getting done at work at 10 o'clock nowadays, because that's a fucking thing. And, you know, rushing home to jump on this stream and play games because you never know when there's going to be something that is just, I don't want to say life changing, but like just an experience like Aces and Adventures, you know, I, that's a game I never would have touched, but because of this stream, it's there now. You know, it's a game I'm aware of. There's there's so many games like that in here that just it's it's incredible. And 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 I'm glad that you know you're all here, you know, everybody who who comes here, you know, every week, you know, Stacy, Sarah, Glenn, you know, Aaron, Jared, you know, yeah, I'm, I, I appreciate you guys coming along on this journey because it's 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 so much fun. I love doing this. And even when my other streams, I, I feel like are are, you know. Yeah, I'm so glad Glenn recommended the show, too. <laughs> um, You know, it's it's like all my other shows, like my D&D &D and chill stuff. And, you know, now I'm obviously, you know, I'm, I'm going to be trying to do my sick and tired of being sick and tired. Uh, you know, where I'm working out, you know, and I'm trying to get fit and healthy, you know, this, this is the, this is the one like positive mental health thing that I've had for a while. Like, like, sure. There are some days where like, you know, it's, it's a Thursday night and I'm like rushing like tonight I'm rushing to get the, this three panel of these three games together right before the stream goes live um you know and it's like that like you know i'm forgetful you know it happens but it's like it's always worth it you know it's 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 always something so yeah i just i just want to say i just want to say thanks um you know it's this thursday nights are definitely like a good mental health thing for me to just experience some stuff have some fun you know and, and yeah you know uh, see what see what's out there and plus being able to connect with developers that's uh you know that's 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 one of those like little you know gold nuggets that's uh that's been out there so uh but i think that's gonna do it for me tonight congratulations again glenn for winning a copy of meeple station uh if you want to win a copy of yakuza like a dragon all you have to do go to kelscorner.com join the giveaway it'll take you to the discord um and yeah join us next week when we play these three punk cake delicio games uh furious farm total reap out super fetch dog and stray shot um and join me tomorrow night uh for the next episode of well the next i don't say the next episode but uh for for our next our next experience in uh uh in sick and tired of being sick and tired so yeah and yeah that's it props to stacy for uh for getting them to show up i always appreciate that you know stacy shares it to uh developers and discords and it's always cool to see other people come in so yeah definitely thank you for that um but that's gonna do it for me i will see you guys tomorrow as we're gonna get some fitness we're gonna get some health going on <sighs> yeah it's gonna be a good day so i'll see you guys then enjoy your evenings bye i'm gonna go take out the trash now